Hi, so this week we're looking at uh, what I call monkey and low press. And um, from here we stopped last time and we're just going to bring the hands across and that toes out the foot. As you shift to the right, you pick up your left heel. The right thigh goes forward to allow the left foot to come forward. And then you drop into your left hip joint and that toes in your right foot as you square off to the cardinal. And that's low press. This is monkey. This is also borrowed from. Um, we have this in Shingy to this monkey position. So it's also you could call it rollback. It's kind of interchangeable for us. So from this, let's do it this way. <coughs> you can see. We were kind of here last time. So he, if he grabs his hand, and again, it, it's not really realistic, but uh, it shows exactly what the hands can do. It also shows you what to how to use it as chin up lock. So this is a nice chin up lock here. So as I shift forward, notice what happens. Uh, I can bring his head down, right? So if he wants to punch me, I also get that. And it's kind of a block, and I can break his arm as I do it. So that's kind of nice. You also have another lock that will look like this. So you can break it this way and then poke him in the eye with the thumb. So the hand in this thumb position is really a big deal. You also, once you're on the outside, you can find, if you get a release from this hand, you can poke him with this one. Notice that will give me this, and then I get my press. You can just press and cross this way. So you've got all kinds of entanglements possible, and you've got a lot of releases and based in that entanglement as well. So if you want to, if he's double gunned you on one arm, that's fine. You just shift and relax the right arm completely. You literally let him have his arm, my arm. And all I do is just kind of relax it and put it in my left foot and then lift my left hand. Okay, so that's pretty much from the grab. And you can do it from two hands or one hand. It all works fine. If he does it with two, you're just going to do that kind of an inside grab. You can also do a replace cross. You've really just got a number of things you can do with it. Uh, it's very uh, easy and fun to do. So to do that. Next is a punch to the head. So this is what we tend to do, it's just a straight. And you can look right from the outside how it works, works uh, against the arm. You're covering the wrist with the hand and the elbow with the other, uh, with your forearm. And you've got a break here too if you can get it. If he doesn't want two, it doesn't really matter. Here's the one, here's the two. And that sets you up for the low press too. Okay, so that's, that's, it works just beautifully um, on a lot of, a lot of things. So when, when he punches too, if you want to be a more offensive about it, you can literally just poke him in the eye as he comes forward with his fist. That's what the thumb is for. And if he blocks it, great. Then you're back to your low press again anyway. Something like that. So we've got a number of options that can happen from there. Um, you can still hit with the backhand as well. So when he punches, you've got boom, you also can do that. And then you're back into this low press position. Again, you really just, no matter what you do, it's going to work somehow. Just keep the shape and know, you know, you can use it. Uh, if he grabs him around the waist, you're going to look at a peel off like this. So this elbow is going to go right into his armpit area. And this one on the side of his ear, the side of his head. And as I shift forward, I just rotate this thing out. And I can, I can bring the knee up, because it's empty, this leg. So I can bring the knee up to his, his ribs or to his groin. Depends how close he is. Um, but really, press is for the, for the guy squeezing you. So, but this will work just fine. <clears throat> you want to just get him off. You won't be hurting him too much yet. Uh, when we get to low press, you'll see what the rest of really is, is good for the low press. So uh, let's do that now. So from here, um, <clears throat> he grabs with his left, the first um, look at the grab. So with low press, basically, you can take the arm and actually lock it with this low press. Any number of <coughs> variations, you can lock this way. This is all press. Press just means you're pressing something, like pressing flowers. So you need two pages to press a flower, right? <laughs> These are your two pages. And you're pressing the flower in your forearm. So that's what press means, right? So, or you can think of like a press or anything like that. If he grabs, 
cross grab, you just turn it over and you're going to compress the elbow. <clears throat> if you grab on the inside, it works fine too. You're just going to take and peel it off and then press it into the neck. See the lock? You've got really just a number of options. Uh, you do have to worry about that other hand, and I know that. But that's why the lock is a little more serious on the inside. You're going to probably break his wrist. You not, might slow him down a bit. So, maybe, maybe not. Uh, uh, another is a punch. So, again, we're at this juncture, and he gives me a straight. And we'll look at what we did before with this one. And, and so, from here, when you get into your press, you want to just throw this into his groin. So as soon as you get this block, just swing this down and put it here. You can bring it high, but um, he's got a nice couple things you can do with this arm still. So the nice thing is to get down to the groin and get, out, get that other hand busy. Once you have it, you just press it into his body, if you can. That's the idea. <coughs> you know, just keep him busy. Notice I can keep him busy here and then re-attack re re with this hand. If he blocks there, I just press both arms down together with this one. So you've just got a lot of options. Uh, if he punches with the same hand and foot forward, you're going to see something else too. So punch um, through your right and right. So at this juncture, you can step behind too and bring this elbow into his ribs and then get the groin from there. So if you bring. Yeah. Let's see it. To the elbow. See the. And so then if he flinches away from the elbow, see it? Then I just push him right across and stop. <coughs> so you see that very clearly in the form of the elbow. Okay, and then so that's the punch. Um, he grabs him around the waist to get him in this juncture uh, and watch what can happen now. So you, you're going to take this arm and lay it across his, his, his uh, scapula. You can compress the head toward your arm. And so adjust with that. Sorry. <laughs> you feel all right? Yeah. Okay. So that's basically it. You're just going to cut when he, when he grabs. You can also do this. That went right into his groin, my left knee. You can compress the head too. You don't need to get the shoulder. You can just compress the head. Here's your press. So on a wrestler, you're going to maybe need to do this because they're really strong and they're holding tight, so you need to pry them off. The head is the best tool. Okay, so push hands versions. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's, do, let's do the right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and so if he pushes on, the, on this arm, you can do it this way. Basically, you're gonna just turn and get him out that way. You can also turn this way and, and just lock him out this way. So again, he just overextends with with his other with this arm. That's all it is. You're just neutralizing it into that back foot on left. Because that's where the weight is. Okay. You can actually do this one on either side. If he, if he pushes with this arm, you're going to do it this way, cross. But when we get to rollback, um, high rollback, we'll look at that more in detail. But this is, this is very simplified. So, um, and short compared to the long rollbacks. Uh, the other one is the press. So we'll do the left and forward now. It's good to do both sides if you can. So now we're looking at the other side. He pushes with the same arm, let's say. And I'm going to neutralize it straight into my left foot and drops my right hand. And I bring it across to my left. I don't bring it straight. It presses this way. Actually, it, goes, it starts here, but watch what it does. So it has this continuation. The circle continues that way. So I have to neutralize his, his push into my front leg and then just bring it right across his wrist. Okay, I think that's enough to start. <clears throat>